wrapped up in that statement. That's what I want. All right, guys. So we're out here because uh, you know we're getting rid of some, a couple of stuff here, uh, a couple of things. So first, first thing first, we've got relics, we've got statues, and then we've got CDs as well. And the reason why we're doing this is because one of our sisters, you know, who we deeply love, she's been fighting a spiritual warfare lately. And wait a second, she's actually dropping everything in the garbage right now as we're speaking. So, hallelujah, you know. Um, we're basically, um, she's been feeling weight on her shoulders, weight on her heart lately. She's been feeling as though, you know, she's been struggling. Lots of spiritual warfare. And uh, the Lord put on my heart to actually share with her that these could be, you know, openers for Satan to come in, beat her down in her own house. You know, relics are a door for, uh, you know, legal ground. Uh, or a legal ground for Satan to actually come in and beat, you know, the children of God down. She's got a lot of that stuff at home, and she's been thinking about getting rid of these, that stuff, you know, for a while now. Can you say a word? Can you just basically share with us? And uh, how, how how have you been feeling lately? You've been saying that you've been, you know, feeling guilt and shame for, come um, upon you. For many years, I've been struggling with the fact that I don't have uh, confidence in my uh, salvation. All right. So. You think that that could be something that you think that that could be something that uh, you know is a form of blockage uh, that is blocking you from experiencing God's love and peace in your yeah. own house, for example. Of course, like all right. I, I feel like I have this spirit of condemnation all, all the time, all over me, using the word to condemn me. Mm -hmm. And that that's not a right feeling for you know for a child of God. We should be feeling the peace that God promises, the peace that surpasses all understanding. So there's so much at stake over here. Hallelujah! Praise God! She is literally breaking everything. She's getting rid of everything. We have to drive off to go somewhere outside of you know, public. Stand. Can you show them what this is? She had this at home, and she thought that that was Jesus. But I told her that that's not Jesus. Jesus does not look like that. So. It's not about being a legalist, it's all about, you know, just taking our precautions, making sure that our house is a safe haven, that it's a place of worship, a place where we commit to God, a place where we come, you know, to serve the Lord and, you know, plead the blood of Christ Jesus over your house, but also get rid of any form of relic. Hallelujah, she broke statues. Show us this, these statues. Uh, she had Christmas statues uh, with was, the Virgin uh, Mary, <laughs> you know, and Joseph, uh, which and should, shouldn't be in, in a Christian's, in a believer's house, ultimately. These things should be outside of the house. These are legal ground and, and legal territory this, to come uh, for Satan to come through. This is, uh, I bought in Peru. It's yeah. like... Um, <gasps> yeah, these are flutes, so yeah. how about we actually just break? Hallelujah, glory to God. Yay. You know, no time to waste here. Yay. It's all about, you know, whether these things magnify the Lord or not. And they obviously don't magnify the Lord. These things serve, you know, for Satan to come through the door and live, you know, with the, in the, with the believers. And oftentimes, you know, for so long, you know, believers feel like they're, they're feeling this, this weight on them. You know, this, this, this negativity. They feel as though they can't really reach out to God. They don't feel close to God. These are CDs. Look movies. at that. That was, that's movies. idolatry. Movies from the world. Mundane stuff. Pink worldly Panther. movies. Big Panthers. <laughs> These are all form, forms of worship and idols which she had at home. Hallelujah. She just broke another. That's another statue right now. Break it. Break that head. That head, need, that head needs to be gone. Hallelujah. Hey. Broken. Hallelujah. Hey, and broken. G and baby Jesus. Baby Jesus broken. Ah, totally dead. Wow. That's the kind of spirit that we uh, we want here, you know. There's all there's over. She's saying there's over 400 CDs in that garbage. Can you imagine? She had 400 CDs, and no wonder she felt as though she was, you know, restrained from experiencing God love. Every time she wanted to come in prayer and feel God's presence in her house, she would never be able to do it. And then she told me for a while that she wanted to get rid of of, of all these things, and then we kind of for God to take care of business and tonight is the night God put on my heart he led me you know to tell her that these things we need to get rid of and thank God even we are comedies. right now we fight not against flesh and blood but against principalities even comedies even comedies right the, like, Christmas wrappings top all secret. that stuff you know we don't celebrate Christmas we don't ce celebrate Halloween there's no time to be wasted guys but especially yes, in these last days right. we'll find another garbage yeah. no, the Lord calls us to be holy yeah, so you want to make sure that nobody will come and, you know, also uh, take these things, right? Shouldn't be transmitting these things to anybody else. Should be getting rid of these things, making sure that nobody else puts their hands on them. Because these are evil, satanic. wicked, satanic relics and objects and materials. 
And trust me, guys, sometimes you might not even think that there's something, you know, dwelling in our house, which we need to be get, getting rid of. Could be a relic, could be as simple as a small object that was given to us by maybe a medium, a sorcerer. Could be witchcraft in your house and you might not even know it. So if you're feeling pressure, if you're feeling weighty, if you're feeling, you know, there's a struggle in your prayer, in your worship time with the Lord. If you feel there's a blockage that is coming across, you know, between you and God and you're not being able to, you know, being, uh, be at ease with the Lord could be telling you something this could be telling you something that there must be something which you need to get rid of hallelujah goodbye, goodbye goodbye to all that <laughs> satanic stuff so we're done here Yay. how do you feel i'm good <laughs> amen hallelujah glory good. to god praise god i don't know why i've been struggling for many years to throw all this out mm -hmm. it's like see, music was you know it was dear to me mm -hmm. but would you agree that Satan is, uh, is, uses music against the Christians to steer them away from the faith? Because he's, 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 he's the music cherubim, right? He's, yeah. the music, he's a music pro. Yeah. And that's, now that's why no and wonder... And we know that um, artists have to sell their souls and become witches and warlocks exactly. to be able to make it big in that business. Yeah. And there's obviously, you know, curses on all these things yeah. to get people to, you know, tune in and then you know worship all these areas of their lives yeah. so we need to get rid of anything that does not serve to glor glor glorify god right yeah i so, choose jesus amen hallelujah so giving our hearts to jesus is a wholesome heart excuse me means that we need to get rid of anything that might be standing in the way right yeah. so we're taking a new step of faith from from this point on right yeah. no, I have hallelujah like many boxes of books uh i know a few years ago i got rid of all my new age stuff but now it's like regular poetic books or whatever books and mm -hmm. i still need to get rid of amen. that because i won't read it amen so and watch your life change from now yeah, on yeah i i'm sure it will amen it will change from now on you know just keep your eyes on, cr on the cross at all time you know we only need jesus J jesus and jesus alone no no nothing else amen. nothing should be a replacement or nothing should be complimentary you know uh to jesus he's the mainstream focus of our lives and he's coming back soon amen we have hallelujah to be ready hallelujah so we got rid of all that junk we got rid of all that wickedness that rebellion against god and satan has no power no dominion over our house we pray against every assignment every hex and vex that came against our house before in the past we and we bind the enemy right we loosen anything that is in our house and we did it we just loosen up we loosen up these objects and whatever god loosened on earth he will also loose in her uh, in heaven and whatever he binds on earth he will also bind in heaven tonight it's a new start it's a fresh clean start with the lord and it, this means the newness of life that Jesus gave us, right? He gave us that newness of life in Him through the Holy Spirit so we would not be bound to anything legalistically, right? So the Lord calls us to be set free because He said that He came to set the captives free. And this is a form of being set free. This is a form of releasing the slavery out of our lives and walking, you know, like all towards the cross. Yes. So we're, we're walking towards the cross. Yay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. you, Hassan. Thank yes, the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Love yes, you guys. Love you guys.